Hello and welcome back to, once again, another Let's Play on my channel where we are going to be doing uh, Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. So, uh, yep, yeah, really, really thought, you know, because I've got a few hours spare today, so I thought I'd start a new Let's Play. And as I've said, I have given Crash 4, it's about time, Let's Play, a bit of a rest. So, I thought, why not do another Spyro game? And I'm not really too clued up on a hero's tale. I wanted to do that one, but... I just thought that this would be more practical, so I'm doing a uh, Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. I mean, I could have redone one of the original trilogy games or done a Legend game, but to be honest, I want to do something a little different. And what is the point in this demo? You know, seriously, I know it's not a top quality game, but you know, the demo was just so short, that was really weird. But anyway, we're going to begin now, so uh, yeah, we are playing the GameCube version on Dolphin Emulator, so this has got the 250% uh, uh, CPU overclock, so hopefully we will not be hit by the frame rate and the uh, performance issues that we're having uh, with this, uh, you know, like you normally have with this game. And also as well, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm also using a custom texture pack for this too, so it makes the game also look nicer, you know, in terms of colour palettes and also stuff like... Uh, well, what, is, what could I go with? Uh, stuff like Spyro skin and stuff like that. So yeah, nicer textures, especially nicer textures on the ground there. So what character should we pick? Should we pick... Oh, baby dragons. They, they look, they're kind of cool. They are gems. Yeah, gems. I'll go with gems. That's that's a great uh, idea. So yeah, uh, here we go. Spyro, enter the dragonfly. So... Uh, Yep, really, really cool stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's begin with the intro cutscene. Wow! It's just a float, you scaredy cat. They sure do look happy, don't they, Spyro? Well, it's not every day that a dragon gets his dragonfly. Uh, right, Sparks. So, we meet again, little dragon. I'm back, and I'm stronger than ever! Who are you calling little, Shorty? Nobody invited you! This is an invitation-only party. Very clever, Dragon. You know, you should join me. We would make a great team. What do you want this time, Ripto? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, what do we want this time, boss? You're not hired for your brains, you dinosaurian landmass! Keep thinking and I will send you back to the place I found you, unemployed in Molten Crater, begging for work from Nasty North. Now, back to what I was saying. Well, what do I want this time? I'm glad that you asked, Purple Pest, and I will be happy to demonstrate. Since I've had enough to do with dragons, I thought, perhaps, Dragonfly. <laughs> well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but... You see, without the power of dragonflies, the dragons are nothing. Soon, the dragon homelands will be mine. <laughs> Spyro, that little lizard totally stole all the dragonflies. Even Sparks is gone. Spyro, Hunter, oh. don't worry. I think I know where to start. Follow me. Sparks! I thought I lost you, pal. That was close, Sparks. Listen, I think I may have figured out a way to catch those dragonflies. Spyro, stand back! Yeah. 
Whoa! What'd you do that for? Drat, that didn't exactly work right. I'm still learning, you know, Spyro. The good news is I've created a powerful magic that will enable you to use different breath abilities. The bad news is you're going to have to find dragon runes to use them, since the spell scattered them in different parts of the dragon realms. Cool! Come on, Sparks! Let's get going! We've got a lot of work ahead of us if we want to find those dragonflies. Do you think we'll ever get a day off? Okay, so, so those new to this game who have played the original trilogy and, you know, starting to play this and new to it, you're probably thinking the exact same thing that I'm thinking. What the heck has gone on there? For one thing, you know, uh, Ripto. He was truly defeated at the end of, of Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. That is, ap that is the absolute truth, for one thing. So, uh, I have absolutely no idea what that was all about for one thing and uh, in this game we're collecting dragonflies by the look of it so uh, yep really cool stuff so here we go we are in the dragon realms and f straight of all we have got a power up here take this dragon rune to the dragon spirit over there with this rune he'll be able to combine dragon magic with my magic and grant you bubble breath to catch dragonflies they're shy, and will probably run away from you anytime you come near them. Tap your L button to switch back and forth between fire and bubble breath. So here we go, that's the bubble breath power-up. So you collect power-ups that you find around levels and in the homeworld, and you take them to this sort of like dragon statue here. Spyro, the magic of this sacred room will bestow upon you the power of bubble breath. So here we go, that's the first uh, power-up unlocked, so there are indeed four to be found. So we can switch with left button, you know, like the L1 uh, equivalent, because I'm using a Switch Pro Controller to play this, by the way, so they can switch breath. So now I'm gonna, yeah, you can flame a dragonfly. Hey, it's Toons! Toons, that kind of reminds me of, you know, Toonie from, uh, you know, the Spyro community, so that's actually really interesting, and we actually did a GRA race of this game, so for those wondering, this game does play very much exactly like the other games in the, uh, you know, the original game trilogies and Reignited and stuff like that. You are collecting gems, but instead of collecting dragons, you are collecting dragonflies this time, which you catch with the bubble breath, so, uh, yeah, very interesting stuff, so... In this part, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be uh, collecting all of the gems that you can get so far in the Dragon Realms. So uh, that's our task up to now. Good work, Spyro. Use the stones to get to the dojo. Remember, Spyro, find the dragonflies before Ripto. Yep, so that's the very first level you go to. But we are not going to be doing that right now because what we are doing is we are doing the home world. And the button layout that I'm using, because I'm using the Switch Pro controller and this is a GameCube controller emulation, is very weird. Where X would be is to charge. Where triangle A would be on a PlayStation controller is to flame. And you hover with square and circle jumps. So all the buttons are mixed up. And whenever I try to rotate the camera, I'm going to end up opening the guidebook. So there we go. So for that, you need to have the uh, ice breath, which we have not unlocked yet, and we do not unlock that until quite a bit later on in the game. So, uh, yeah, we have come to a dead end. So now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, just, for this part, collect gems in this world. I'll speak to this guy while I'm at it, if I can. Spyro! 
I was dreaming of a genie that turned into a nightmare when these horrible Riptox kicked me out of my bed and threw me down this swirly thingy. Maybe the magic of dragonflies will help activate it. But we do not have many dragonflies so far because if I open up the guidebook, which I don't need to open up the guidebook because you saw me collect it, you will see that I only have one dragonfly. In fact, you can yeah, you can see it in the pause menu actually. So uh, that's actually really cool stuff. So yep, so we're just going to collect gems. This is like the equivalent of Sunrise Spring or Summer Forest. It kind of reminds me of the mix of the two. It really does. So uh, and here's Hunter. Hey Spyro, you know if you press the A button to jump, then press the A button again in mid-air, you can glide. Try using your glide to follow me. Yep, so another Hunter tutorial, exactly the same as what we have seen in Spyro 2 in Summer Forest. You know, isn't it ironic I was just mentioning that? And he's going to teach me how to hover now, so there you go. Way to go, Spyro! I think I see something shiny on that ledge over there. You can get there by hovering. To hover, press the Y button at the end of your glide. Yep, okay, very, very interesting stuff because uh, this is totally a copy of Spyro 2 and you can hover up there actually. There's a lot of hover skips you can do in this game. Of course, I'm not speaking to you again because I've already done it. Yeah, just imagine if you fall, you've got to redo an NPC's dialogue again. Like, wow, game. Nice work, Spyro! And check this out, I found a dragonfly! Here, why don't you take it? Yeah, it was in Hunter's pocket all the time. Not that Hunter even has pockets, but yeah, you were stowing it the whole time, so... Uh... There was nothing over there, you could have just given me the dragonfly straight away, given I know how to play these Spyro games. That sounds easy enough, but what's the challenge? What do I have to do? Activated? How do I activate the portal? I don't see any switches or power buttons. <laughs> okay, that dragonfly is as good as free. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to do a dragonfly challenge yet. I want to come to that back to that in a bit because I am still in the process of collecting gems. So uh, that can wait a minute. But I mean, seriously, just imagine like all of this like unnecessary dialogue. I mean, this game, I'm not the biggest fan of. You know, definitely not. I mean, I think it's pretty bad compared to say the original trilogy. But as a game in general, I don't think it's too bad. So I still have fun playing it. So. Uh, I thought I'd do this Let's Play because, you know, it's good to have a bit of variety while I do it. So, uh, and no doubt this is going to give me another dialogue, and oh, I was right. And there is no electrical breath, but the thing is, I don't even need it yet, because uh, I'm going to collect it in the first level anyway, and I'm going to be doing the first level, but you know... Uh, I mean, there's certain like breath yeah. things you can do, but then again, there's certain skips you can do, so you don't have to really worry about it. So, now we're going to do that challenge, so I believe, yep, there are indeed 224 gems you can collect from the start of the game. And that's me getting confused with all the buttons, so... Yeah, using the Nintendo controller, I am not used to doing this because the buttons are all a different way around. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit confusing, so make sure I've got flame breath on. And let's, uh, let's burn all these. That's if we can get the correct button, because, as I say, they've made it confusing by, uh, you know, because this is built for GameCube controllers, not for Switch Pro controllers, but it's the closest I'm going to have, you know, 
when it comes to lining up with hints and dialogue and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, so we've seen some similar challenges like this in previous games, but obviously these ones are a little more challenging because items are more spread out and the time limit is a lot tighter. In fact, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this done first time. In fact, I might be able to if I'm quick. And there we go. We've done it. Nice. Awesome. Hey, it's Jeet. I just have to like, uh, you know, sort of like, uh, you know, sort of like sync up with the dialogue because I'm so familiar with these games. But anyway, believe it or not, this here, before we wrap the part up, is the Ripto portal. And basically, speedrunners use a strategy to where they can sort of like jump off here and head bash. Because you got head bash straight away in this game, by the way. So, what you'd normally do is you sort of like jump and do a head bash, but you do it like off the side here. I might actually try and see if it'll work. Because I've never actually got this to like work before, so I'm actually going to give it a go right now, believe it or not. And so far it is not working, so maybe I'm not asking. <gasps> and it worked! It actually worked! I've actually gone into Ripto. <laughs> this is like the first Let's Play part. You know what? I'm actually going to do Ripto in the actual very first part. Could you imagine like defeating the final boss in the first Let's Play part? This has never actually really happened before, but you know, <laughs> just for the meme and the laugh, I'm going to do it anyway, so... <laughs> I, to I totally did not expect that to even work, but yeah, here we go, we're in Ripto, so I guess we're going to be fighting him, so <laughs> here we go with that. Oh, if there's anything I hate more than a dragon, it's a purple dragon. You've caused me enough problems, Spyro. This time I'll take care of you permanently. Yeah, so this one, you've got to flame his shields. Focus. Focus. That's all you've got to do in this one, pretty much. So remember, B is to all you've got to do is charge and flame. You don't really need to do any jumping or anything. But I will say that there is like two phases of this boss. This is phase one. Phase two happens when you get the 100%. Now the thing is, if I defeat this, I'm going to unlock the gem finder straight away. So, you know, that would actually be uh, really... Uh, you know, funny, if I actually do defeat the final boss on the first part, which I've done it. I've actually done it, guys. Oh, I've got to give him one more flame. I could have done that damage free, but I totally didn't, because I was stupid. And, uh... Oh, uh, okay, uh, I forgot you have to hit him multiple times. Uh, I think I, I cannot die here. Come on. I absolutely cannot go die in here. And I have, so... Yeah, I just wanted to show you that Ripto basically works, and, uh... But I think for this one, it's sort of glitched, because you got to only hit him once now, and... That's like the end of the boss. So... In fact, sometimes you got to hit him once, sometimes you got to hit him multiple times, it's really confusing. Because... Because, the, you know, this is like the any percent fight. But for some reason, this boss is not getting hit. It's, it's just... Yeah. And by the way, this Ripto boss is the only boss in the game. That's a fact. Ah, defeated again. I'll be back, and you'll be sorry. You'll be very, very sorry. The magic of dragons can't last forever, can it? You bet. Yep, so there we go. Ripto defeated in part one. Wow. And there's your credits, but you know what? I'm not going to show the credits for the simple reason I'm going to save those for uh, when we actually do defeat the final boss once and for all. So <laughs> this is absolutely just insane. I've, I've just defeated like Ripto. Like in the I've defeated the final boss to defeat a final boss in part one of a let's play. That is just mental. Oh, I'm sorry if you kept hearing that. For some reason, my microphone cable is rubbing on the tripod st stand. So. Yeah, uh, so yeah, there we go. We have defeated Ripto in part one. So, uh, yep, totally insane. But what we're going to do now is we're going to wrap this part up here. And in the next part, we are going to be going to uh, Dragonfly Dojo, which is the first level. So, yeah, this has been part one of Let's Play Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. So, uh, with the texture pack. 
which is basically by John and then a load of numbers. So I'm going to actually just put that in the description because it is a very difficult name to remember. But uh, I will be crediting that in the description and providing a download link. So uh, there we go everyone. I want to just say thank you for watching. This is my new Let's Play and I hope you're enjoying it so far. This was a short part but you know, in future... Uh, more parts are to come and I do plan to have guest commentators on here as well so I plan to have on maybe Lucas and uh, Rodri so yeah if you're watching this yes I do plan to have you on this let's play that, uh, as well as maybe some others so uh, yeah there we go so thank you so much for watching I hope you've all enjoyed this part and I will catch you all in the next one so thanks for watching I hope you all have a good day and see you later bye